I, even though I should know, but I don't. I, last time I smoked this cigar was a while back. So it's a good thing. Like I say, I cannot see any. I cannot understand what they put on the on the on those coins, emblem, seal, whatever you want to call it. So <laughs> I'm just keep though, re reviewing cigar and go like, ah, maybe the next one's better, and I'll pick another one that you know maybe I don't like or something like that. So I don't. Know. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Now, today, we have a cigar that's not new. That's relatively been out for a while. It's a My Father's La Oplencia. And as you can see, I, I'm not too, too sure about the size. Uh, I'm going to guess. This is a Toro. The question is whether or not this is a Gordo. It, it's box price, so it looks bigger than what it is, I feel like. It I think I think this is just a regular Toro. So I'm gonna call this a Toro. But the experience should be roughly the same. So Toro is 6x54. Toro. And this is, like I said, box pressed. Okay. And I do find that there's some multiple contradicting information. Because some people say this is Mexican San Andreas Rosado or something like that. Oscuro Rosado. And the binder and filler will be a, a, a Nicaraguan uh, tobacco. And some website just said this is a Nicaraguan all throughout. So, I don't really think that makes a difference. It's the taste that matters. So, we'll go with that taste, all right? I don't know if it's a good idea for me to smoke this because today is one of the, the days that I don't eat. And because I don't eat, I should not be smoking a cigar this caliper. So, Lord, sa Lord save me today. Lord save me today. All right, let's go. Very light woodsiness for the smell. Very light, very very light. I like, I do like the blue band, uh, the green band, blue band, green band. Uh, it's kind of shiny and nice, but I like you know overall I don't like a ribbon. I'd rather them have a design to it, but it fits the theme, so why not? So let's get this going. Cutter. There we go. Oh my god. There's a leather. There's like a oakiness. A little bit floral and dust. A little bit dirt, like a dust, dirt kind of taste. But that should not matter. <laughs> Cold draw, usually. Oh my god, my nose should have smelled like that. <laughs> Cold draw usually doesn't represent the whole entire flavor. So let's light this up. By the way, this cigar is provided to me by, I believe, based on where I get it from, in the bag, Eric. Smoke one if you have one. So make sure to check out his... um. Cigar reviews, I'm pretty sure he had one of these reviewed too, if he passed this cigar to me, so. I feel like I have done a cigar review for this before, but you know, it's not official review until nowadays I make official reviews. So 
So I hope you enjoy those videos because uh, it takes a long time to make them. Okay. Uh, it tastes kind of like, um, a sweeter, more floral version of that wood and leather mix. So that wood and leather mix didn't, that when you had a dry draw, um, the cold draw, is not, it's, it, it smelled old, but when you actually light it up, It's that same taste, but sweeter and better. And it kind of tastes like there's some sort of spice, a tingly spice, but doesn't necessarily taste like pepper. All right, I take that back. Chili pepper. It does burn. It's how you get there. Yeah, there's a little bit of sweetness to it, too. Like, that sweetness is hard to... Like, it's just sweet. It doesn't taste like anything other than sweet, right? So it's like that woodsy, leathery, uh, a little bit of that dust, dirt taste, but sweeter. And a little bit more floral. That sweet floralness to it. So, yeah. And one thing I don't like about is uh, this particular cigar is like, I don't know, like just very roughly rolled. You can kind of see that the, the wrapper is not complete. It's not sitting flat. And it could be because they, when they box press it, you kind of squeezed it. But it just it just feels very raw and rough. I don't know. It kind of, it reminds me of the Labiju. It's close, but not there. Like the Labiju. Labiju has a little bit more like tea and, but that this floral taste kind of reminds me of, uh, all right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. So one third, um, basically first third. You get a little hint of uh, the strength, right? It's about medium, medium plus. Smoke up was pretty good. Stay lit pretty well. Um, but you just, first there is like, like how I described it before, right? Leather, woodsy, a little bit earthiness, uh, and some pepper on the retro hill. And now it's at the end of the first third, you get a little bit of that, I don't know, similar like to like chocolate, but it's not. Like a raw cocoa coming up a little bit, but haven't got there yet. So I'm looking to see if this gets better at the second, third, and get to become something closer to the Let Biju. Let Biju is pretty good. Let Biju is more creamy, is more, uh, more substantial. This thing is like wannabe Let Biju. It kind of reminds me of it, but it's not. I don't know why I keep, I, I keep thinking about Let Biju, but it's not. So. Yeah, we'll see if it gets better. Even I, even though I should know, but I don't. I, last time I smoked this cigar was a while back, so. Second third. All right. Second third, pretty much done. Uh, second third, basically, uh, the woodsy taste got better, but it, now it's a full body cigar. And because of the full body cigar, um, the trade-off is just not that good. I mean, for what it is, you're not getting a lot of good notes compared to the to the strength that you're dealing with. 
right? So, uh, how much was the cigar again? I was, I think I was like 12 bucks or something like that. It, it's 12 bucks, but I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I should because of the strength. I mean, full, full strength is, uh, it's not that enjoyable for me. For me. Some people like full strength, so. But it didn't improve. He got more woodsy, but it didn't improve. And pepper started to come back. So, I don't know. 12 bucks? Yeah, it's there, but like, I would have preferred something else, you know? Here's the band. Very nice looking band. I like the color, you know? It's almost festive, you know? Red and green. They always go good together. Come on, Christmas, right? Uh, and here is the top bands. It's My Father's, Garcia and Garcia. And some basic thing like i say i cannot see any i cannot understand what they put on the on the on those coins emblem seal whatever you want to call it so even though it's nice decoration i would have been rather they made it so that you can actually see what they put in there nice band though it does pop and like i say uh, you know because the the theme it fits that blue bottom very nicely it actually look kind of refreshing except the cigar is not refreshing it's pretty heavy so it is what it is. So let's go through the last third and go to summary. Be right back. All right, I finally finished. I will give it $12. That's 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 not the problem. The problem is because the it's a full body cigar, a full string cigar and not a lot of body. All right, it's just woodsy and and, and leathery, some earthiness. The good note just disappeared really quickly. So, you know, I I some people will like it. If you like full string cigar and you're okay with just woodsy no leathery notes and you like that, great cigar. It's just that. But if you like someone like me, like transition, like sweet notes, like, you know, conversion of notes, you got to think this cigar is really boring for the strength that you had to deal with. All right? So, you know, but that's just me. All right? Packaging is fine. Construction is okay. Smoke output is okay. Strength's way too high for what you're getting. Uh, that's the only downside for me thinking about this cigar. Okay. So yeah, that's it for the review. And um, again, thanks Eric for sending me the cigar. And um, hopefully the next cigar is not as strong. <laughs> I'm just keep re reviewing cigar and go like, ah, maybe the next one's better, and I'll pick another one that you know maybe I don't like or something like that. So I don't know. That just seems to be the case. All right. So, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, and also check out other uh, members' um, reviews. And their links are actually in the comments. So, check those out. They're actually pretty good at reviewing. Better than me, at least. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.